All right, it's time for another math. Easy solution. Today we're going to discuss uh, further into limit laws and look at the root law and also provide a simple proof. Basically, uh, the root law is law 11 of from my limit laws part 2 video. And this just states, well, yeah, just make sure you watch the video link below this, this video. Well, but this just states a uh, limit as x approaches a of this nth root of f of x is equal to, well, you could just put this limit now inside. So now nth root of limit as x approaches a of f of x right here where n is a positive integer. Note if n is even then you can't have a negative inside there so the limit as x approaches a of f x is greater than zero and also we assume limit exists. And also just write that down. Now the proof for it, well it's pretty easy because I've already proved uh, this from this video so we're just going to use the same thing using the limit of a composite function theorem so make sure you watch this video link below on the proof of this and this one just states that if you have limit as x approaches a of f of g of x then basically and then basically you could put the limit inside and this is limit as I mean f of the limit as x approaches a of now g of x right here. So all I can do is put it inside. I'm not going to go over how I uh, get to this. So just make sure you watch this where I prove this uh, yeah, this theorem right here. Yeah, now in this case, all we do is basically let, yeah, let f of g of x is equal to basically yeah, this nth root of g of x right here. Yeah, and thus we basically have right here limit as as x approaches a of uh, this is f of g of x is equal to now this is we'll put this one here limit as x approaches a of n square root g of x and now we could just plug it this inside here where this now equals to limit as x approaches a of well this is going to be actually no this is be inside the bracket so this is f of limit of g of x and now this equals to well this one right here and which is the new f of x. So all, we do, all we're doing is basically using the composite function right here and this is going to be now this is going to be n square root limit as x approaches a of g of x right here. Yeah so yeah and this proof all I'm doing is basically using this composite function theorem. So the main proof is is basically proving this and this is this is the consequent of, of this is basically then this function is now this nth root right here. Well, that's uh, that's all for it. I just wanted to go over it quickly how this law is proved. That's basically using this composite function theorem. So make sure to watch that video. Well, that's all for today. Now you can download these notes in the Dropbox link below and stay tuned for another math easy solution.